My name is Matt Rich. I'm the senior pastor here at Unity Presbyterian Church, and I want to welcome you to this week's edition of Life Together. This coming Sunday is September the 26th, and we will continue with our two Sunday morning worship opportunities for you. The first at 845 live on the lawn. It's forecast to be a beautiful morning, so come and join us outside for that service together. If you'd like to join us inside, the service is at 11 o'clock here in the sanctuary. We do ask that you wear your mask, but uh, no registration required. We still have every other pew marked off. We're singing just that final hymn, but um, are able to participate in the responses and various things along those lines. If you are unable to be with us here in person on campus, we do hope that you'll join us by the live stream. That's at 11 o'clock. We live stream the service from here in the sanctuary, and that's available on YouTube and Facebook and on the church website. So join us for one of those three ways that we'll be gathered together as a community of faith to worship God. Special this Sunday is that we'll be commissioning at the 11 o'clock service the Women of Unity Coordinating Team. So I know that you'll want to be a part of that special day of prayer and opportunity to remember them in the important ministry that they do for the women of our church and certainly extended beyond their, um, our church into the community. We'll be thinking together this Sunday about our annual vision of ministry. It's the third week in our series on the vision, and our key word we're looking at this week is restoring. How are we restoring our connections with Christ, with one another, and with our neighbors near and far? Perhaps it's been the case for you, I know it's been the case here at the church and in our own lives, that there are some things that we have lost, connections that we've lost, things we've had to put on pause since the beginning of this pandemic, or maybe even longer for you. How do we pray that we might restore those? What kind of goals, what kind of vision, what kind of opportunities might there be for restoration in this new year ahead? Just as a brief, maybe funny illustration of that, you might notice that today I'm wearing a bow tie. I haven't worn one since probably May because I've taken the summer off in terms of bow ties and uh, relaxed the dress as it got hot here in Fort Mill. But the weather has turned and now it's time to return to bow ties. This is actually the very first bow tie that I've ever owned. It's over 20 years old. And so we are restoring things that bring joy to our lives. And part of that is our relationship with Christ, with one another, and with our neighbors. We're going to think about that prayer for restoration. We're going to think about the ways in which God often answers that prayer in ways that are different, maybe, than what they used to be. And yet we still see it as a way to be restored. My friends, come and join us this Sunday. It continues to be such a wonderful time here to be in life and ministry together at Unity Presbyterian Church. God bless you, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon.